What's up guys? So Nintendo just released the Puyo Puyo Tetris demo on the Nintendo eShop. So if you have a Nintendo Switch right now, you can download the Puyo Puyo Tetris demo on your Nintendo Switch. The full retail game will be coming out April 25th for a retail price of $29.99. Now in the demo, you have solo play, multiplayer, tutorial, and manual. I'm just going to click on solo play. And then in solo play for the demo, you have versus mode and you have swap mode. Now basically what versus mode is, you either pick Puyo Puyo or you pick Tetris. And your opponent can pick Tetris and you can pick Puyo Puyo. And basically the first person to fill up their board will lose. So you don't want to fill up your board. And then in swap mode, you're both playing Puyo Puyo and Tetris. You're going to be swapping between both games. First off, when I saw the trailer for this game, I honestly thought you would be playing both Puyo Puyo and Tetris. But it turns out you can strictly play Puyo Puyo if you don't like Tetris. And for me, personally, I'm not a big Tetris fan just because I'm not good at Tetris and I don't really like Tetris. So it's nice to know you can just play Puyo Puyo. Now in the full retail version of the game, you have Fusion, Party, Big Bang, and Challenge. So you can see there's going to be a lot of different game modes when the full retail version hits store shelves. One thing I was also concerned about as well, I was actually concerned about there not being enough content in the game, but it looks like there's actually going to be a lot of content in the actual game. I just don't know about the whole $29.99 retail price. I think that may be a little bit too high for a game like that, but now I'm just going to hit Versus, and I'm going to do one. You can do uh, up to four players on one screen, and these are all the characters you can play in the actual uh, demo of the game. One thing I'm actually curious about if Nintendo is actually going to do what they did with the 3DS and the Wii U to where each demo had a play limit to where you can't keep playing the game over and over and over when it comes to demos because this is a demo I can see a lot of people just playing over and over and over and not really feeling like they need to pay for the actual uh, retail version of the game or the full version of the game. Anyway, I'm just going to pick Ringo. I'm going to pick Puyo. And then I'm just going to pick another person and pick Tetris. And then uh, you can actually change the handicap. And unfortunately, you are stuck with a handicap, at least in the demo. I'm just going to do the default, which is medium. And then go ahead and uh, start the game. Now, one thing you notice right off the bat with this game is, is that you notice that this is a very cutesy game. So if you like cutesy games, you're probably going to end up liking this game. You can see the backgrounds and the backgrounds of the board and everything is just very cutesy. And at the bottom of the screen where it says Puyo Puyo Tetris and CPU 1, there are some animations from time to time. Now, also, if you don't know what uh, Puyo Puyo is, it's basically a game where you got to get these little drops to match you four in a row and once you get four it counts as a as a chain and once you get them then it'll start racking up and then you can hit your opponent's board and your opponent's board will get bigger and bigger and the first person to fill up their board loses so you not want your board to fill up I can definitely see this game also becoming competitive online once people get really good at this game. You definitely want to go as fast as you can with the game and just start chaining on chains to hit your opponent as fast as possible. I I feel like I probably have a pretty uh, good chance of actually beating my opponent. My opponent's board right now is definitely stacking up. And also, playing this and talking is a little bit different than playing this without talking, so I might end up doing worse than what I would normally do if I was just concentrating by myself. You can, yeah, I can definitely see my opponent's board definitely racking up right here. That's actually a, a pretty good chain right there, I feel like. I definitely need to get my chains going. And a lot of this also has to do with luck of the cards, just seeing what you're going to get, because you never know what you're going to get. You could get unlucky and whatnot. Minerals. Wow, why did it give me that? That was absolutely, like, almost pretty much useless for the most part. Yeah, that was pretty much useless right there. I'm just going to go ahead and place that right there. I'm not getting any... I'm not really getting anything too big right now. Yeah, I definitely have a chance of losing this. Definitely. Don't know why I placed that there. Uh, yes, I got a purple one, yes. So I can definitely clear off a little bit of my board. Not great, but it's better than nothing. Give me, I was going to say, give me another green one, but nope. The game did not want to give me another green one right there. 
Dang it, I'm definitely out, dang it. Mike, the computer just instantly crushed me. Also, I'm not really a big uh, puzzle person as well, so I'm not really good at puzzle games. So, I completely do apologize for that. And I can definitely see myself getting better over time, just practicing and uh, things like that. Now, I am going to end up playing uh, Poyo Poyo Tetris, the one where it switches between Poyo Poyo and Tetris. I'm going to go into single player, and I'm going to go into uh, swap mode. And I'm going to do three this time so you can see a full board. And there is a lot of content in the demo, whether it's single player content, multiplayer content, versus, or swap. So there is pretty amount, there's a pretty good amount of content just in the demo alone. Let me just go ahead and pick uh, just a whole bunch of random CPUs. Now the nice thing about this game is you can play on a team or you can play in single player mode. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with single player uh, mode right here. Just gonna keep it on the medium, uh, the medium uh, handicap right there. And when you when it when you play Poyo Poyo Tetris, it does randomly choose what game you're gonna start out with. Unfortunately, I got unlucky, and I am starting out with Tetris, which I'm not good at Tetris at all. So I really do hope I can pull out something right here. But as long, honestly, I can say as long as I'm not the first person out, I'll be really really happy. Okay, okay, I feel like I have a, a good board actually right here. Now we're back to Poya Poya, which I do actually love. So let me go ahead and get something. Yes, I got another blue one. So right now I'm starting off very hot with this. And then another. Ooh, this is looking very good, I mean, right now. Definitely just gonna put that on the side. I'm gonna try to play my cards right. The only thing you can't do with the Poyo Poyo board, you can't actually have diagonals. I don't think diagonals count, and it tells you in the tutorial, diagonal uh, pieces won't count as a, as, a, as a combo or chain, so don't do diagonals, diagonals do not count. Dang, I just got hit with a lot of junk right now, I definitely got hit with a lot of junk. I'm gonna play that right there. Still don't feel like I'm doing too bad of a job right now, it could have easily gotten worse for me, but right now I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Yes, I can clear off some of my board. Okay, got some purples going. Okay, give me some yellows. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that guy on the, on the very far right looks like he's going to be eliminated soon. He definitely does have a very good chance of being eliminated. I don't even know what that CPU is doing over there. He is not doing a good job. Yes, he's probably going to be the first, uh, the first player out. But this could definitely go wrong for me as well. Oh, okay, I, can't, I definitely can't put that down. That scared me for a second. Now I can't clear off anything right now. I'm in a pretty bad situation, I must say, for the Tetris board. I am definitely in a bad situation right now. Uh, why, 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 why? It's just going to give me a really bad Tetris board? Yeah, I'm just playing this not, too, not, not, not too good right now. Definitely not too good for me, but talking and playing is definitely not the best right now. But honestly, I must say, this is a pretty addicting game. And I, I can see myself playing this for hours and hours, especially when this game, if this game, and it probably will get a multiplayer mode in the actual retail version. Yep, I knew that CPU was definitely out. Wasn't looking good for that CPU. Uh, I'm doing so bad right now. Okay, give me a straight piece. Yes, I was about to say, give me a straight piece, and the straight piece actually came. So there we go. All I need is another straight piece. Some more straight pieces, please. Okay. Dang it, and then I get hit with this big square piece. Ah, oh, this big square piece ain't gonna do me anything. It's gonna do, do me jack thing. It's gonna do me literally nothing. Okay. No! I messed up right there. I should've moved that over and then the yellow... Wow, I definitely saw that one coming because if I would have placed those those ones you just seen to the right and then the yellow ones would have dropped down, I wouldn't have been eliminated right there. So definitely you can see I'm not the best puzzle uh, type of person. I'm not really into puzzle games. But honestly, I find this game a very, very, very fun game, at least from what I played. Anyway, guys, this is Puyo Puyo Tetris coming to the Nintendo Switch April 25th for a suggested retail price of 29 99 anyway guys peace out i'll see you guys later in my next video i'm out guys